Dicot seeds, also known as dicotyledonous seeds, are a fundamental component of many flowering plants, characterized by having two seed leaves or cotyledons. These seeds have a detailed and intricate internal structure that enables them to germinate and give rise to a new plant. Let's explore the structure of a dicot seed in detail. From the outside, dicot seeds can vary in size, shape, and texture, but they all share a common set of features designed to protect and nurture the developing plant embryo. The outermost layer of a dicot seed is the seed coat, which consists of two layers. Tester is the hard, protective outer layer that shields the seed from physical damage and prevents the entry of pathogens. Tegmen is the inner, thinner layer that lies beneath the tester and provides additional protection. The seed coat is crucial for safeguarding the seed during dormancy and aiding in its survival until conditions are favorable for germination. On the surface of the seed, there is a small scar called the hilum, which marks the point where the seed was attached to the ovary wall, or the fruit. It is often visible as a slight depression. Adjacent to the hilum is a tiny pore called the micropoly, which is a remnant of the opening through which the pollen tube enters the ovule during fertilization. The micropoly allows water to enter the seed, initiating the germination process. Internally, a seed contains an embryo. The embryo is the young, developing plant contained within the seed. It consists of several parts. Cotyledons are the two large seed leaves that store food for the developing embryo. In dicots, the cotyledons are usually fleshy and filled with nutrients, which are utilized during germination. Plumule is the part of the embryo that will develop into the shoot system, including the future stem and leaves. It is located between the cotyledons. The radical is the part of the embryo that will develop into the root system. It protrudes from the lower end of the embryo. Hypocotyl is the embryonic axis below the point of attachment of the cotyledons, which connects the radical and plumule. It plays a key role during germination by pushing the cotyledons above the ground. In many dicot seeds, the endosperm, a tissue that provides nutrition to the developing embryo, is absorbed by the cotyledons during seed development. As a result, mature dicot seeds often lack a distinct endosperm, having transferred its nutrients to the cotyledons. During germination, the seed absorbs water through the micropoly, causing the seed coat to swell and eventually rupture. The radical emerges first, growing downward to form the root system, followed by the hypocotyl, which pushes the cotyledons above the ground. The plumule then begins to grow, forming the shoot system, while the cotyledons provide the necessary nutrients until the seedling can photosynthesize and obtain its own energy. So, dicot seeds, with the protective seed coat, nutrient-rich cotyledons, and well-structured embryo, are perfectly designed to ensure the successful development of a new plant. The hilum and micropoly play crucial roles in water absorption and initiation of germination, while the embryo parts, plumule, radical, and hypocotyl, work together to establish the new plant. This intricate internal architecture underscores the efficiency and adaptability of dicot seeds in the plant kingdom. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching.